Hi everyone, my name is Leverick and welcome to Scube NS 2.0 tutorial, the first part of the Pi case category 1. Today we will see the first 12 cases of this part term, if the adjacent center is on the right side. Ok, now we can start it. The first one is the most easiest that I will show you. We recognize it by the block on the back. These two centers that are adjacent and these two centers that uh, have to be swapped. So we start here and just do the hedge case. Easy. Let's do the next cases. In the next two cases we now have the setups of a triple sledge case. And the difference between these two is that this one the two swap centers are on the left side and the block is uh, on the front and that the other one, the two swap centers are on the right side and the block is uh, on the back now. So for the first one, if the two swap centers are on this side and the block is uh, on the front, we start here and do this arc. Little r, big B, big R, Z, big R prime, the little b prime, big R, little r prime, big R prime, and it's soft. And for the other one, if the two swap centers are on this side now, and the block on the back, we start here, and do this arc. The little r prime, big R prime, little r, big B prime, little r prime, big R little r, big b, and it's soft. Let's do the next cases. In the next case we recognize by these two blocks, one on the front, uh, another one on the back, and by these three centers. That gives uh, in this situation a uh, u perm. So for this case we start here and we do the hedge and sledge cases. So we do here a hedge, z2, sledge. And it's off. For this one, I will show you another arc that I use nowadays. So it goes like this. We start now here and do this arc. Little b prime, big r prime, big r prime. Le little r, le little b, b le little r, and it's soft. Let's do the next cases. In the next two cases, we recognize by the these two blocks and the adjacent center. If it's uh, on the left side or on the right side. So for the first one, if the adjacent center is next to the blocks on the, this side on the left, we start here and do this arc. Big B, le, the big R, big B prime. And do here the sledge case. Little R prime, big R prime, little R. And it's off. And for the other one, if uh, Jason sent us ne next, next to the blocks on this side, or on the right, we start here and do this arc. Big B prime, the big R prime, little r. Big B prime, the little r prime, big r, little r prime, and it's soft. Let's do the next cases. In the next cases we now have the variations of, of the x perms. And to recognize the V2 is that the, this one, the x perm uh, is uh, on the left side, it goes clockwise, that the other one, the x perm is uh, on the right side now, it goes kind of clockwise. So for the first one, if the x perm is uh, on this side, uh, and it goes clockwise, we start here and do this arc. Big R, the little R prime, big R, the little R. Z, 
2. And we do here the hedge case. Le little b. And it's soft. And for the other one, if the x is on this side now, it goes counterclockwise. <coughs> we start here and do this arc. Big R, Z2, and we do here the hedge case. Z2. Big R, little r prime, big R, little r. And it's solved. For this one I will show you another arc that I have learned recently. It goes like this. We start here and do this arc. Little r prime, big r prime, little r. Big r prime. Z, big r, little r, big R prime, le little r prime, big R, little r prime, big r prime, and it's off. Let's do the next cases. In the next two cases, we now have the variations of the watt perms, and the difference between these two is that this one, the watt perm is on the left side, it goes counterclockwise. And that the other one, the watt perm is on the right side now. It goes clockwise. So for the first one, if the watt perm is on the left side and it goes counterclockwise, we start here and do this arc. La little r, big r prime, little r prime. Big b, big r prime, big b prime. Little r, big r, little r prime big R and it's off. And for the other one, if uh, what permits are on the right side now, it goes clockwise. We start again here and do this arc. Big R, big B prime. La little R prime, big R, little R, big B, big, big R prime. Little R prime, big R prime, little r and it's off. Let's do the last cases. Finally we have the variations of the uh, swirl perms and the difference between these two is that the, this one the swirl perm is on the left side it goes clockwise and that the other one the swirl perm is on the right side now it goes counterclockwise. So for the first one if uh, Swirl perm is on the this side, it goes clockwise. So we start here and do this arc. Little b prime, the little r prime, big b, big r prime, the little r, big r, little b, big r prime, and it's off. And for this one, if the swirl perm is on this side now, it goes counterclockwise. We start here and do this arc. Little r prime, big r prime, le little r. Big r prime, little r. Le little b, little r, big r prime. And it's off. Okay, that's all to show about the first part of the uh, pie case category 1. Next video will be the second part of this. It will be the pie case on the right side. So, see you there.